So this drill is our speed turn. And we're gonna be doing it on a line so we make sure that we maintain body control coming back down on a straight angle. So what we're effectively looking for in this drill is your body's ability to get in and out of a bad position rather quickly so we can make up ground, make back into the play. So we're gonna, make, we're gonna start into an athletic position into that back pedal. And all a speed turn virtually is, is our body's ability to open up that back leg. And when that back leg now opens up, that's gonna be my new pivot point and my body's ability to spiral around that point so then I can explode off the new outside leg, which is going to be this leg as I open up and now that leg becomes the outside leg. I load into it enough that now this leg either can slightly come off the ground or you're going to just slightly pivot and turn and then open and push. Now, what's the most important part of this drill? And you're gonna to start to adapt this and it's gonna become more natural to you. But what's the most important part in this drill for you because we know the, uh, the outcome of the, um, of the drill. We know the goal and that's to, to turn and get back on the track uh, of the line. We wanna get our eyes and our head around quickly. That is going to help us rotate our shoulders, rotate our hips all in conjunction together as one complete unit to get back to point A. And that's where we wanna to get to. So let me do a slow and then I'll do a couple reps so you can start to see how quick it can become. Stay with it, start controlled and maintain good body position and posture. That's the speed turn. This drill is called our line shuffle hip flips. And why we're gonna be doing it on the line is I want you guys to maintain a balance and integrity and our body's ability to stay on one space, one line. So what I need you to do is get into a good athletic position, push off that front leg so we can push nice and aggressively down into the ground on an angle so we can get backwards. Hey, maintain that load in the back chain. Hey, really strong in those glutes. As I take two shuffle steps, I then I'm going to flip my hips and then maintain my eyes focused back inside, back straight ahead and then I'm just gonna flip those hips to the opposite direction. So one, two, flip. Really working on body disassociation and good fluid hips movement so I can get in and out of my transitions very quickly. Here it goes. Eyes straight ahead, staying on the line the entire time. This drill is called our line crossover sprint hip flips. Now it's a very challenging drill because a lot of athletes will lose their balance, lose their integrity, and it involves a lot of coordinational skills. And so what I wanna really focus on for you guys today is to start the drill off nice and slow. Once you start to pick up speed and your ability to open up and transition, and then be able to retransition and flip those hips by maintaining your, um, your eyes straight ahead, then you can start to pick it up and go a little bit faster. Now, what you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna do four flips, and on the third flip, that's where it becomes the most challenging because you're gonna be going at such a high speed at this point where you're gonna to start to lose a little bit of control. So keep integrity, keep form, and really flip those hips and allow those hips and those shoulders to move and sync together as one complete unit. Here we go. This next drill is a backwards 45 degree lateral shuffle. Now you hear me say it all the time. I'm always going to emphasize this. Keep your hips square. Maintain proper leverage and proper position. Be in a good athletic balanced position as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive off of that front leg and we're going to use our body and our back hip and that back foot to go on to that 45 degree angle. 
Now, we also want to maintain that our foot, our knee, and our hips are square so we don't open up and give that person an opportunity to run right by us. Let me show you how this looks. We're going to be doing it in a five yard fashion. So every five yards, I'm going to then switch my front leg, push off nice and aggressively, and then go over to five yards to the next distance. Here we go. This next drill is a backwards 45 degree crossover sprint with an inside turn. Now you're gonna open up your hips on this one, but what we wanna think about is, is not just I'm crossing over with the foot like this, I'm actually crossing over and sprinting. So I'm gonna be maintaining my eyes and the prize straight ahead of me. My shoulders are gonna open up as if I'm sprinting that direction, but I'm gonna be maintaining my focus inside of the drill. Once I get five yards in distance, I'm gonna plant that leg, flip those hips, open up, and then sprint the opposite direction. That's all I'm looking for. You're not going to be high, you're not going to be too low. You're going to be in a good athletic balanced position, being able to aggressively put that foot in the ground, open up those hips inside, and get back to where you need to go. Here we go. Oof. 